Travis Ortiz, um, signature tire for Umqua. I am going to be tying the Half Man Intruder. I came up with this fly a couple years back for Coastal Steelhead, but I found that it works really, really good in Alaska for kings and chums and silvers and pretty much everything up there. So, we'll start off with the Waddington Shank 45. Longer the better. I like these ones big. Um, we'll start off by tying a medium or a large chartreuse lead eye on the front. Wrap that guy on there. And then tie these on the bottom. That way that fly rides upright. We go. And we'll do a thread wrap all the way back on that guy. Close up that gap. And here we're going to use a little bit of this intruder wire. Get that off. That's why I use a really crappy pair of scissors for those ones. All right. You want to make sure you leave a big enough loop to tie a one aught or a two aught hook on that for kings. Um, they will pretty much straighten out anything else. So you got to make sure that there's enough to fit a bigger hook on there. There we go. Let's wrap that one on. Try not to break my thread. All right. Now, I'm just going to cut that off. So I want to cut. There we go. Tie that in. A lot of times, too, I'll just glue that in. But I haven't ever really had any problems with them slipping out when I tie them in tight enough. And then we're just going to run that all the way back again. Make sure it's all wrapped in tight. And not break it. All right, there we go. So start this guy off, a little chartreuse ice dub for the rear. Use a lot of this stuff. And I just tie a basic dubbing ball on the back. Next step's a little trickier. We're going to do a composite loop. So there's a few parts of this. It's basically just a dubbing loop. We're going to wrap that dubbing loop in there. Tie that off. Put our dubbing spinner on. Set that aside for a sec. Um, now we're going to build our composite loop, which is a couple parts. I usually start with a little bit of ice dub. You're going to kind of split this up a little bit because we're going to lay it all out. Get one little part. The next we got bait fish emulator. Comes on a big strand. We're actually just gonna cut a piece of this off. 
one that's not tweaked. There we go. Try and get that to lay out nice and straight. And all we're going to do with that is lay that on our to our dubbing. There. Next step, we've got a little ice dub shimmer fringe. We use a little chartreuse. Same kind of deal. We're just going to cut another little piece of that off. Also, going to lay that on top of there. All right, I'm going to put a little peacock shimmer fringe on there as well, just to give a little contrast. Just make sure it's all split up nice. All right, and the pretty part, little Lady Amherst, just gives it that little bit of buggy look. Basically, you're going to lay these out on there somewhat evenly. That way, when you spin it, they're kind of split up some. Doesn't have to be super perfect. Usually grab stacks of, you know, three or four. You'll just kind of lay them on your little dubbing loop that you're going to use here. So once you get all those in, we're going to take a little more of your ice dub and it kind of creates a little sandwich. And so what that's going to do, we're going to split that up, lay that right on top again. Now the tricky part, picking it all up without it falling everywhere. So as I pick these up, if you can see, I have them all kind of stacked in there. That's basically all going to stuff into our dubbing loop. So as you take this, safe, hold that pretty tight and you're going to cut these ends off. And then we're just going to start our little spin here. And spin that up pretty tight. It takes a while for these materials to start to go. All right. Now what we're going to want to do is pick these out and you're going to lose a bunch. I'm going to give it a few more spins once I pick it out. Okay. Now, next step, we're going to fold all these materials back and wrap that on there. Looks kind of like a mess. For a second, you're just going to slowly brush these back. You have to wet your fingers, it helps. All right, and then you're just gonna start wrapping. Wet those fibers so they stay out of your way. A couple wraps on that bad boy. Cut her off. Well, that's step one. Wrap that up nice and tight. You're going to pick it out again. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Very nice. Put that back on so I don't lose it. Fold those back, give them good wraps in there. Smooth it out some. Now for the body, what we're gonna use here is I use an olive pearl braid. Um, keeps the body nice and thin. Um, I like it because it gives it a nice two-part system to this fly, so that nice intruder style you see kind of stays. Get those out of the way. Tie this in. You're going to go all the way up to your next dubbing ball, which is just behind the eyes here. And we're going to wrap that diamond braid up. Tie that guy off. Nice and clean. And basically, doing this front part is going to be just like doing the back part. It's all the same. So, I'm going to start with the dubbing ball all over again. All right, same deal here, another dubbing loop, same composite loop that I tie on the front as I do on the back. Put that little guy back on there. And back to building another loop. So again, chartreuse dubbing. Where's the bait fish emulator? Boom. A little shimmer fringe all over again. Peacock. And the Lady Hammers. And a nice dub topping. Back to the tricky part. Okay, 
Same deal. Right back in the dubbing loop. Pinch those guys off. Little spin. Actually, let's spread those out a little more. There we go. Pick them out. Same deal. Let's brush all those back again, and we're going to wrap it up. Sometimes I give it a little pinch just to get them all to fold. There's quite a few materials in there. All right, here we go. Boom. Just like that, tie that guy off. Pull it all back, make sure it's nice and tight. One more step, pick that out again. I like the composite loops because it makes everything kind of unperfect. You know, I, I like to think nothing in nature is exactly right. So having a few legs not really off straight or something uneven actually works out really good for these fish a lot of times. All right, so we've done our two composite loops on this fly. Um, we got the final step to tie off here. That's pretty simple. Um, I just use, uh, this is Kingfisher blue, or this one's actually peacock blue, um, marabou. Gives it that nice little finishing touch, a little pop with a little more color. Uh, kings really like the chartreuse and blue, so it's always a good one. Um, I like these plumes because you got a lot of nice fibers in here. Generally, just get rid of the bottom ones that I don't use. Tie this guy in by the tips. I like that middle section here. You don't want to use a part that's too stiff. So we'll take that guy, tie that in by the tips. Right there. We'll keep this right behind the dumbbell eyes. Just fold that tip back, tie it in real good. Fold all these fibers back again so they lay out nice and flat as you wrap it. The marabou will get stuck in there. There we go. that in there real good. Make sure you tie this one off really tight. You don't want that one to come out. And now what we're gonna do is finish off the head of this fly around these dumbbells, clean it up the best you can. 
try and make sure I cover all my materials. One little piece. All right, and then just a whip finish. Suck that one in there. That should do her. Nice and tight. Cut that off. Little head cement so she don't come undone. There we go. Boom. And there we go. That is the half man intruder. Right there. Thanks for watching.